Hello, everybody. We are going to start Golden Axe 3, first playthrough. Uh, hopefully finish out the Golden Axe trilogy before I uh, move on to another beat-em-up series. I don't know what's next. I have an idea, but we'll have to see. <laughs> That's my great YouTube intro. <laughs> great, yes. Um, attack magic jump doppelganger. Oh my. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Luke Lukey, J3Z, The Thanos, Druff the Wolf, Adeline Archer. Enjoy your uh, emotes on um, a doppelganger. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you, Earth. Yeah, I did that last week. Looks like you can't get any life in the options. That's all I wanted to check, so. Oh, so there's more options here. And I can't be the dwarf? All right, so we got big guy, we got the lady, we got the dude. I kind of want to play as him. <laughs> Lady would usually be my first choice, but... Lazard! I'd be a cat guy. There may be some spots by the time you get here. Oh my god, Larock, that would be fucking phenomenal. I'll let you know. Oh, shoot, that's, uh... That's magic. Yeah, panther dude. It's all good. How dare you get it wrong, Earth? You're fine. <laughs> I like this guy so far. <laughs> You're kitty kitty. Be a panther guy. Ooh. Give me your magic. Wait. Okay, you have to actually hit the button to pick stuff up. You can't just run over it. That's actually good. That means I won't just auto-ride things either. Auto ride things. You heard me, chat. You heard me. <laughs> so far, there's some uh, good changes here. Good changes. I wish I could auto ride. What? What earth? You being lewd in my chat? Maybe a little, maybe a little lobsy. <laughs> I'm gonna take you on an auto ride. Do, do, do. Not just for any ride, it's an auto ride. Yeah, you guys are gonna keep me going all night long. All right, what's this? Woo! Get off my cart! Before I get off my cart. Okay, don't accidentally sprint. You'll sprint right off the damn cart. This is my cart now. Oh, 
I forgot to turn on the, uh, what this is. Huh. I have it up there. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. See, now we all know what I'm doing. Beautiful. Just gonna take them out real fast. Get off my plane! <laughs> Blurp! Yeah, true. You weren't all about that blurp? I'm still trying to figure out the, the movements and everything. I don't think I've ever played this one. Kind of surprised. So you bought the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection for your Xbox and then the try- Yeah. Oh, I never played this game until, um, recently myself. By recently, I mean right now, and it's because of the- <laughs> Alright, I need to get better about that. This is, of course, my first playthrough, so we'll forgive me. Just this once. After that, mistakes will no longer be accepted. Like, actually, we think it's funny when you make mistakes, because you tend to fling yourself off of, uh, carts and <laughs> whatever else you're doing. Sega Mega Drive, Ulti Drive, Collect a Drive. Yeah. Gonna take you for a drive. Do do do. A mega drive. Oh, I can choose? <gasps> We're going north, baby. Listen, guys. You guys need to stop being so fast. There we go. Map of the Eastland. This is when beat em up started getting, uh, all complicated and stuff. You can choose where to go now. <laughs> hey, yo, I can double jump? Damn. I like, uh, Panther Guy here. He's, he's got some cool stuff. Oh. Yeah, I have the uh, Mega Drive collection for Steam. That's what I'm playing on, if you guys ever wondering. I really like it. I wish they had all of the games. That would be super dope. And I would buy them over time like if they were cheap you know give me the games i do think though in the workshop a lot of them are dlc or you know mods or whatever not dlc mods uh but i have every game you can buy for it oh there is another thing I did yesterday. I, I b booted up uh, Final Fantasy 1 yesterday. Uh, the pixel. Yay, I'm glad I did that. That was amazing. I, I booted up the pixel remaster of Final Fantasy 1, and that was pretty fun so far. I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, at least I got one of them. Um... I had been playing Final Fantasy Renaissance, and I beat that recently. And I really love the extra classes in that, but the, the re pixel remasters are still worth playing because they're just so beautiful. Like, with the upgraded music, and they added cutscenes and stuff. I mean, you know, on the same uh, level as, like, say, Final Fantasy 
four or whatever. Well, not the same level, but you know. They made it so that instead of just it being a text box, it's now a small little cutscene. Really the way to put it. Did you really just like freaking uh dodge me? Yeah, I love the pixel remasters. The only one I had played up till this point was Final Fantasy IV, and I did that on stream. That's my, my famous clip. Look at the water. Look at it. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, I... They are so beautiful. And then they... The Final Fantasy I uh, game adds, like, so many things that are just good quality of life stuff that... Yeah, I'm glad I've played. I have played the OG NES version and beaten that. So I don't ever feel like I have anything to... Um, what's the word? I don't feel like I have anything I need to prove to anybody by replaying that version when there are versions to just have so many quality of life upgrades to them now and extra stuff. Uh, Sega Mega Drive Classics or Sega Genesis Classics in an A. Loud for online multiplayer. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, so far I hear you, Shanghai. Um, I'm enjoying the extra classes. I wish that my dwarf was an option, but I get to play a panther guy. That's not so bad. Gilius is gone, replaced with either a barbarian or panther. I like the music. This music is dope. Jeez. Getting too old to swing the axe. I guess so. I mean, he, he was pretty gray in the last two games, so maybe we'll give it to him. Um, he, he was at the top of the screen. It didn't look like it wouldn't let me pick him. It seemed like he was just a narrator or something. This is my first playthrough, so I don't know. We'll, we'll try again later and see what happens. This is my opening. How far can we get? I, wait, I rescued you. Can, can I at least get my mandatory... <laughs> can I at least get a kiss on the cheek? My God. Well, this isn't Mario Brills. Yeah, maybe he can be unlocked later. I don't know. At least... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah, sadly. Gotcha. Okay. Well. So they have a brand new cast for this game. I guess the rest of them are busy. Off doing something else. Touring the volcano. I don't know. Oh, jeez. I don't know if this is a, a boss or... I don't think so. If it is, I'll wish I had used magic. But once again, that's what learning is for. I don't have to know everything immediately. I remind myself loudly. <laughs> How dare you not know everything about a game you've never played before? Unfollowed, unsubbed. Okay, it was. That was a boss. Okay, I can use magic there. Good to know. Hey, give me my stuff back. God, as if this wasn't obnoxious enough, now I have to play freaking whack-a-mole? 
Oh, well. I got full magic. That's all that matters. Finally made it to GA3, devil. Indeed. The volcano of doom! Yes, the volcano of doom. Dim jungle. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm missing my uh my axe, dude, but Panther guy isn't bad. I'm gonna try all the characters as I work through to try to figure out who I'm gonna beat the game with, or I'll beat the game with somebody and that'll be that. <laughs> Hey, red zombie fox. I'm doing really well. Um, we almost made it out of uh, yellow ranks today with Eddie. I was twice close to ranking up before I lost, but that's okay. We're going to get it. It's just going to take a few times. Panther girl. So that's fun. Um... I'm solidly in Dominator now, too. So that's nice. Pretty solidly. I, I do get knocked down into Assailant some, but it's not so bad. No! I thought you would jump back on the... the, the... Oh, well. Apparently, I should have jumped on the dinosaur. So, uh, which Thundercat is this, you think? Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh! Hard to say. Davo. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's Davo. This is Dave. He fixes our network when he's not uh, thundercatting. I don't know why Dave always fixes our network, but that's, that's the joke always. Both that guy and that lady didn't give me a celebratory uh hug or smooch. I'm just I'm just holding grudges here, okay? <laughs> I mean look at me. Who wouldn't? Yeah, and he just runs and leaves the lady behind too. Swell guy. Swell guy. You're on your own, lady! <laughs> I'm out of here. I'll leave you with the, the, the way too hot panther guy, right? Jeez. Hit nobody, snail dude. Hit nobody. Ever. trend with these uh, trilogy beat-em-ups because this is my fourth one. I need one more and I'll do a top five video for YouTube. Um, I don't know. Does Turtles technically have a trilogy? I mean, there's Turtles Arcade, there's Turtles 2. Is there a Turtles 3 to make a solid uh, beat-em-up trilogy on that? I know there's like Hyperstone Heist and stuff, but...
Well, if you count the first game, but that one's not technically a beat em up, is it? Or is it considered a beat em up? I'll look into it later. No big deal. Yeah, did the arcade have two sequels? That's what I'm asking. Because I would love to do a, a top five uh, beat em up trilogy video, but in order to do that, I need my, my fifth beat em up trilogy. Because this is only my fourth here. Or if you guys have any suggestions for another beat em up trilogy, let me know. You guys didn't even give me meat, you gave me a heart. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll steal yo heart. I'll steal yo heart, but. Manhattan Project is a sequel. All right, well, maybe we can, um. We can flub it a little bit. <laughs> You're a heart stealer. Ooh. I see that? I, I did something cool, but now I can't figure out how to do it again. Hey, yo. Apparently I can block, too. 89 Manhattan and Turtles in Time. Gotcha. I'll look into it. Magneto, master of magmatism. What's his line from the uh, beat him up? There's like a certain line he does. He has easy tops in this game. Welcome to die. Thank you, Lady Charlie. I knew somebody would know. Welcome to die. Hello, welcome in. Magne Magneto, master of magnet. The scorching sand. Greatest line. I agree, Bujan. Yas, yas. <laughs> Actually, you're doing the Ivy. <laughs> I Jim and Boo. We're just going to take a sip of coffee here. Welcome to die. It's beat em up Mondays, everybody. Nobody survives beat em up Mondays. <laughs> I barely survive beat em up Mondays. <laughs> eh, I've got a decent amount of them under my belt now. Yeah, I'll see if I can look up more beat em up trilogies. Because like I said, if I can get one more after this, I could turn some of this uh, content into YouTube content. That'd be super dope. I might have to refilm some of my early stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. Hey, Raven. Oh, wait. I still have a little bit of water left over there before I open that. 
I'll just finish this off. You're in a desert. Hydrate. True. True. Rival Turf Trilogy? Um. I don't even think I've heard of that. Rival Turf Trilogy. Let me write that down. Enjoy your lurk, Raven. Rival Turf Trilogy. Okay, cool. Oh, Double Dragons. Okay, Double Dragons. Yeah, I do think there's three of those. Actually, Double Dragon would be a good one to end this out. Rushing Beat. Gotcha. Oh man, they're not letting me get that dragon at all. Not that I blame them. <laughs> somebody say DD. You did. I mean, somebody did. I did. Sorry guys, I'm a panther dude. Uh Panther power. Yeah, I've been um definitely neglecting my uh, list videos on YouTube because of executive dysfunction. I'm actually like even partly finished with them. It's just lately it's been hard. I I've kind of been explaining off and on on Discord and on stream, so I won't get into the bulk of it now. But Lolo Man has agreed to help try to get me back on track, so um, I'm hoping I can uh, start creating more content there. And so if I'm focusing on um, also doing some beat em up stuff, that might help too. We'll see. Just a matter of doing it. Just a matter of doing it. They, who wanted to talk to you? Your family? Hey, yo, thank you for the 10 bits. And the follow. Really appreciate it. Let me just uh, bump that up there. Long time lurker, first time chatter. Discovered your stream through my YouTube. Oh, well, thank you so much, Charlie. I'm happy to have you. Really appreciate. Yeah, I was a uh, live streamer. Um, for I've been a live streamer, I should say, for a very long time. Just trying to, you know, do both. Just trying to do both. And it's been quite a bit of fun, and I've really enjoyed it. I just eat you. Eat you! Hey, Edge of Human. Oh, some missionaries? Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Earth's like, my soul is spoken for. The almighty... Um... God, who, who would... Who, who would have Earth's soul? Uh... The great prophet... Jack Herrera. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I 
I worship the almighty green here, and by that I mean weed. No, 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 we, we don't worship money, it's uh... <laughs> you got the joke. <laughs> I'm on the blue dream, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am. That's not the burning bush I want to list. I'm sorry, I'll stop. I'm usually nice to people who go door to door because I feel like uh, they're being pushed into doing it, but I definitely don't want to like get caught up in a conversation. So I try to keep it brief. Like, um, you're wasting your time here. Just move on, please. I'm not going to be mean to you, but hey, Big Al. Oh, Venius worships money, though. Yeah, it's the, the force conversion thing. How long did it take between you coming in? <laughs> okay, okay. Quillbot, we weren't talking about that. I mean, we might worship that too. I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I worship an almighty fertility god. You want to see my statue? Yeah, it was last week. We beat it last week. Also, I don't know why my uh, chat bot keeps uh, un... I don't know if it's affecting you guys, but every now and then I get kicked... My chat bot has to re realign for me. So... Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate. Good. That's what I'm here for. If I can make you guys laugh, my job is... Uh, secure. And... <laughs> I'm trying to eat apples. Guys, calm down. I want apples. There you go. Yeah, Toma. I, I hear you. There are several people who has a weird relationship specifically with my <laughs> quote bot, my chat bot, my... Y you saw that, though. The Minotaur still came. Guys, I was eating apples. Don't you know? I do like how they have, like, anklets and bracelets, four arms, and I, I, I'm i really digging the these guys' design here. You guys looking looking mighty fine. Uh, how about instead of this whole fighting thing, we all leave and go <laughs> do something a little more... No? Okay. It was worth a shot, guys. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Money mercs. <laughs> Welcome in, my friend. It's always good to see you. <laughs> Stop making me laugh, money. And when we said we worshipped money, we didn't mean you. Or maybe we did. Uh, I can't speak for chat. <laughs> chat might worship you. <laughs> oi, oi. Ah. Yeah, Money Mercs over there. Speed run Zelda 1 and 2. Like a boss. Okay. I think I'm kind of figuring out how to fight these dudes. You just kind of got to stay away. A little bit. Get, get up slowly. Slowly invade their space little bits at a time. I don't think I have either. I really thought I had at some point, but none of this looks familiar. Like, they've changed the characters. They give you options. It's so different. So different. Let's see. Where are you? Getting off my screen? Fine, fine. The price of groceries. <laughs> Earth's getting real in here. Oh, but the music's been really good, though. Come on. Ugh. 
stretch. <sighs> I'm gonna have to make sure I get a good back stretch next break. I've been getting up during my breaks, but I haven't been stretching my back. Looks like I got one coming up in 15 minutes, so I'll be sure to take advantage of that. I accidentally hit magic, so I may as well take that as an opportunity to drink some coffee. <laughs> In past games, that worked. It's like they're they're keeping my uh my strats from being good. It's like they they learned from past games that have. Excuse me. How dare they learn? How dare they? Yeah, I was just saying money. Um, I've played like four different franchise trilogies now of beat em up. So I might try to make a YouTube video or something out of some of this stuff. Hey, yo, Toma, thank you so much for the donation. Hell yeah, you jump right into that Kofi. Which, by the way, guys, I do blogs over there. Um, every week I, I take selfies of what I wore on stream. Uh, that's for people who donate. So as long as you donate once a month, you can see those pictures. I've been really good about posting them every week. So yeah. And maybe one day I'll do more member only content. Maybe I'll try. who's vegan for the first time. I've never seen her before. Oh my God. Mondo Mole would probably appreciate that. I just assume Mondo appreciates all puns always. Jeez. Uh, name lonely fans for us lonely people who need a good friend. I like it. I might would join lonely fans. I just did research and of the two of uh, Kofi versus Patreon, Kofi takes a lot less from members and uh, creators than, than uh, Patreon does. So it's basically my Patreon. Supporting it supports me. Over time, I'm sure I'll do more for it. We had a troubled relationship because she kept mocking my dreams of driving a car made out of spaghetti. But man, you should have seen the look on her face once I drove pasta. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Sounds like a rough rel I'm so sorry you had to go through that, Charlie. It's so rough when uh, they won't support your dreams. <laughs> oh yeah, this this playthrough is magic right here. I, I'm gonna be shocked if I don't beat the game off of it. <laughs> so how how do I get you guys without you attacking me? lonely fans in your fighting game stream. Nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, if I wasn't leaving so soon, one of the local fighting game tourneys posted on Facebook that they were looking for local streamers to commentate. And I was like, that would have been perfect for me, but I'm leaving within months. So I, I think I should let other streamers have it. Hopefully uh, my city has other fighting game streamers. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I just don't know them.
Um, well, the, uh, future Rumi has looked at multiple houses, and while none of them have been the one yet, it could be any time. Once he finds the one, you know, he'll start the process. Hopefully it'll go well from there. So in other words, I'm waiting on somebody to buy a place. Uh, that takes time. But, you know, because of the distance of my move, I I'm just going to be slowly getting the funds for it over time because it's it's going to be quite the feat. So I'm hoping for sooner rather than later because I want to move before hurricane season. That's sort of my goal. Thank you. And it could take months to close as well, so. I'm hoping for June, July. Yeah. In fairness, though, your hot season probably isn't going to bother me quite as much, but you never know. I do live in hell. Yeah, your place says AC, never leave, never leave. Uh, yeah, Washington. Washington State is the goal. Bye, dude. Oh, geez. Yep. That is a plus, because here it's, um medical and I have to pay a bunch of money to the state every year to keep my card and I have to pay a doctor every year for a visit not even every year the visit only lasts eight months um and since I'm saving to move I'm trying not to uh do that so hi Nathan sorry I only speak English personally welcome in though Isn't it though, Toma? The doctor's visit doesn't even also last a year. All right, this is our PB for our first playthrough of Golden Axe 3. We made it barrel level. Beautiful. Oh yeah, there are multiple routes. So yeah, that's that's as far as we got there. GG's PB. Thank you, Gaijin. Yeah, you're not wrong, Guy Jean. We, my state didn't um, expand Medicaid because they hate us. So, like, there's a whole group of people here that really should have access to cheaper health insurance due to their the amount they make, and we don't just because our governor is a jerk. So, and you dead? I'm dead. Thank you, Hayabusa. Thank you, Big Al. Billion MC or Bullion MC? Excuse me. Thank you. Everybody on the... Yeah. I imagine. I imagine. All right. So who are we going to try now? So we tried him. Let's see how she plays. Now that you have been released from the evil curse, your mission is to defeat the Prince of Darkness and return with the Golden Axe. Go now, brave warrior. I'm glad we have a mission. Okay. She plays very well. Uh, I don't know. All 
Alright, you need to... I'm so bad at hitting these guys. Fine, fine, whatever. not, no, so I have to choose a new character anyway. Scarier badass. So that's kind of how they work. Kinda, kinda. Oh yay! King of the Raft! It's all mine, baby! There we go. Okay, so these lady characters, bit of a pain to fight against. <laughs> that coming down the freeway, that would be pretty scary. I actually do it a little bit. I, I wonder if she has less health than the panther. Though I like her fight style better. So far, she is a serious contender for who to beat the game as. Because I can get better at the defense, and I will over time, so... Come here, I need... There we go. Give me yo apple! how we got stuck. Coming up both sides, coming and going traffic. I mean, is this a universe where we're just used to it, or...? Yeah, I like the addition of block. I'm almost not used to it, though. It's like, whoa! Actual defense? What? That's crazy after the last two games where it was like... Welp, better position yourself well, otherwise you're toast. You're just toast. Alright, I think we went the other way last time, so we'll go through the field this time. There we go. 
I was going to say, please pick it up. Um, I'm probably hitting ads in a minute, by the way. I need to get up and stretch my back and use the restroom and all that anyway, so. Not a bad time for it, but we're all warned. Tinder Hamlet. Oh, I bet nothing bad's happening here at all. Nothing bad's happening here at all. It's a tender Hamlet. Oh no, spear guy. Whoever saw this coming? Not I. Yeah, it's Shakespeare's forgotten play. You know, there's the Hamlet where he uh, pretends to be crazy and... Uh, Then there's the one where he he's tender, right? Uses tender? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, guys. I'm going to BRB. Uh, back stretch. Tenderized Hamlet. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, G-Dub. Thank you so much. Yeah, lo love that, uh... Ivy laugh. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, we're a couple of minutes to 10. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am getting very tired today. Um, I've been streaming for almost five hours. so. But I haven't played Lord Techie yet. The diamond versus a platinum over. Last night, while I lay thinking here, some what-ifs crawled inside my ear and pranced and partied all night long and sang their same old what-if song. What if I'm dumb in school? What if they've closed the swimming pool? What if I get beat up? What if there's poison in my cup? What if I start to cry? What if I get sick and die? What if I flunk that test? What if green hair grows on my chest? What if nobody likes me? What if a bolt of lightning strikes me? What if I don't grow tall? What if my head starts getting smaller? What if the fish won't bite? What if the wind tears up my kite? What if they start a war? What if my parents get divorced? What if the bus is late? What if my teeth don't grow in straight? What if I tear my pants? What if I never learn to dance? Everything seemed well and then the nighttime what ifs strike again. Please give me cock. Wait, what? Cute puppy is sleeping. Shake or Sunder awake. Shakes his head and barks happily at you. Prances around barking excitedly. Is Ursunder prancing around and barking excitedly? Because boy, I hope so. Up. Oh. Let's click on the game. I'm back. I'm back. Yes, I named my dog in uh, Dragon Age after uh, one of my mods. And I didn't tell him either. It was an exciting time. Thanks, Boneless. <laughs> Hell yeah, this music. I can't get over it. It's so good. Ooh, I got all kinds of goof good things here. Thank you, Vidius. This one might be my favorite so far. I mean, we'll see. 
Yeah, me too, Charlie. It's kind of funky, isn't it? Oh my god, I got to keep the mount for longer than a second. Yes! <laughs> Whatever reason in this game, it's been so... I mean, it's it's only my second run, so I need to stop being so hard on myself. But... Ooh, down or up? We'll go down. We're going down. me. Destroy the road sign so nobody knows where they are. <laughs> Who's the villain now? Lion King. Oh man, Harry Wizzy, I also remember playing Lion King. It was one of the games I had growing up on my Sega Genesis. So yeah, I have a lot of fond memories. Is it a hard game? Yeah, but I enjoyed it. It looked great. I don't remember how far I got though. I also enjoyed Aladdin on the Genesis. And as a kid, I was like dope. He has a sword. <laughs> Unlike that Super Nintendo version, which I probably also would have enjoyed. It's just this was the one I owned was the one on Genesis, so. I know there's very definite opinions there. But yeah, kid me all about that sword. Hey, you look like one of my dudes. My options. They wouldn't reuse sprites, would they? Would they? I mean, my issue with it is just it's a platformer with a large sprite or a large, you know, the, the main character is very large. And so it's hard to see what's happening, but that's certainly not the only game that's in that, depending on the level too. I enjoy it. I played it a ton growing up. Can you stop blocking, please? Oh, Harry, I actually have a Twitch. I'm multi-streaming right now. I'm glad you think so, though. <laughs> uh, I, I think I got a nice Twitch group, I think.
I actually got my start on Twitch. For a long time, all I did was live stream. Man, you were very defensive. What would be my... Hey, Chris. They have guy kind of sketch, though. Yeah. I'm so ashamed that I fell under their curse. I must beg your pardon. I forgive you. I forgive you. Yeah, um, growing up, my brother had a Super Nintendo. He was older than me, so... Oh, jeez. This is not going well for me at all. Get back here. Anyway, he was older than me, so he got his Super Nintendo. And then about a year or so later... We actually did share okay. I don't remember us fighting over the Super Nintendo too much, but I was always aware it was his Super Nintendo, so... I was younger... I uh, watched him play a lot of games. Um, then my parents got me a Sega Genesis, so. Even things out a little bit. And then later on, he got an N64 and I got a PlayStation, which led me down the path of uh, fighting games and RPGs, because that's the bulk of what I played on the, the PlayStation. It was all about that Bushido Blade, Rival Schools. All that stuff. And, of course, like Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. Uh, Sui Koden. All those great games. Breath of Fire 3. Final Fantasy Tactics. That's such a good one. Brother and sister grown up and moved out by the time... So you got all your consoles to yourself. Hell yeah, Hayabusa. <laughs> the path to Dracula's backyard. Yes. Dracula and I have a long mixed relationship thanks to the consoles I had growing up. No, seriously. Uh, Symphony of the Night's one of my favorite games. And, you know, it's because I had a PlayStation growing up. Station of play. Play of station. Okay. Sorry, I didn't want to fall immediately down the... You can't even see the potion. There we go. Some dude's just hiding in a pillar. Not hiding. I'm sure he's captured, but. Of course, my cousin had the Dreamcast. Um, so, like, I would play Soul Blade at home. And when I'd go visit my cousin, we would play Soul Calibur. Oh, those were the days. Those were the days. Man, this game is a lot of great, um, like, I was able to grapple that guy, move him over, grab him and the dude next to him. Like, that's so dope. That's so dope. I have a lot of nice things to say about this game so far. So far. Uh, console all the time. Your mom always hosted all the big events. Ah, so they, they kept up on the consoles so that the, the people had things to do. That makes sense. Um, my parents worked very hard and... 
they didn't really buy us anything during the year, but our birthdays and Christmas, they kind of went all out for those holidays. So that's what it was here. What made me fall in love with gaming? Okay, so like I said, I'm a younger sister and my brother and I, or my brother would play video games and I would watch them. Uh, Final Fantasy 2 at the time for uh, was a big game for us. We both loved it. We played it all the time. Uh, I, I just, all of my early memories involve gaming. I, I've been gaming from a very young age, so I just grew up with it. Yeah. I can't imagine having any other hobby. Like, the type of games I play change. Um, sometimes I play more card games, like, you know, I'll get into holes of Slay the Spire or whatever. Which I heard the sequel's coming out next year. I'm trying not to think about it. Um, sometimes I play more fighting games. Sometimes I play more RPGs or I'll mix it up. But yeah, no, it's just always something. And then, you know, I have a lot of like retro love. I grew up with these games. I have a lot of fond memories of my time at the arcades. You know, just a lot of that kind of thing. Oop. Yeah, this character specifically has a lot of great defensive options against me. As far as I can tell, it's almost better to let them walk up to me and just hit them up from up top. Nice verse, nice. Yeah, I don't really have a, a huge family like that. One of my cousins has a decent amount of children. I have one niece who's, um, she's 17. I was going to say my other niece is an adult. So a lot of my other cousins, children, two of them are adults. Now one of them is younger and by younger I mean like 16 years old 15 years old so hmm. original double dragon hell yeah oh I'll tell the story uh small grocery store in my town had a Street Fighter 2 cab and I fell in love with Chun-Li there and I really fell in love with fighting games there I was I was young I probably sucked at it really bad but it didn't matter she was amazing to me the 3D games started coming out like oh yeah 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 Time Crisis House of the Dead oh I always would spend time on those games. They're just fun. It said Darkstalkers was my jam. House of the Dead. Time Crisis. Tekken. Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. I had, I played Mortal Kombat 2 mostly in the arcade, but I had Mortal Kombat 3 um, on my Sega Genesis growing up, and I had the strategy guide, so I would sit and mess around with it for forever.
Ooh, nice. Fish and chips and King of Fighters. Ooh, you're going to make me jealous. Yeah, MK was huge. All the ultra violence. It's not one I play as much anymore. Early MK. Not like early King of Fighters or Street Fighter, which... You guys know I still play a ton of Street Fighter, too. Um... RPG stuff now. I love RPGs. I played them on stream for a long time, but I eventually just couldn't anymore. I, I came burned out on them. Maybe one day I'll play some more. But I do play them in my off time now. Um, I've been playing Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. I started it the other day. There we go. The Eastland. Bloody street. Sounds like you need to clean that up, question mark. There we go. I'm getting better at the combat. That actually went really well. Thank you, Harry. When you move, would you take, uh, I'll take as much stuff as I can with me. Um, there are some things I plan to sell. A lot of it is like, I just don't play board games like I used to. So some of that stuff I'll, I'll likely be offloading, but otherwise. I've been trying to figure out the best way to do that as well. I do like that the enemies aren't trying to uh, surround me quite as bad as they do in past games. If I could make my own video game, what would it be about? Um, hey, thank you for the subscription. See you both clearly. We're all stunned. We're all stunned. Uh, thank you for the four months. Toma, thank you. Uh, on, off again, relationship with Drak and Laughs. Here's to many more. Absolutely, here's to many more. Oh, man, if I were to make my own video game. I've always been a storyteller. 
So it'd be a pretty story-heavy game, more than likely. Um, I think making a beat-em-up would be dope. Or, uh... Yeah, probably a beat-em-up of some sort. Maybe, like, a... I really love... Cyberpunk. So, some sort of, uh... Cybernetic enhancement, stuff like that. <laughs> dating simulator with Drac. Yeah, I'd make a Dracula dating simulator. <laughs> Similar to the KFC one, right? I never played that, by the way. We have that. It's called Castlevania, okay. <laughs> Don't forget, that's all foreplay to Drac. Hey, Mountain Dew me. How you doing? That's a name I recognize. Castlevania in heat. This is when we mix Tekken with Castlevania, all right? Man, this particular level right here is just eating me up. Like every enemy is being a big old jerk with how they're attacking. Pointy hat gnomes to abuse. Nope, nope. No context needed. Golden axe. took way longer than than I would have liked to have, to have taken. All right, I think we went down last, so let's go up this time. you've been sick. Good to see you though, my friend. I need health badly. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you for all the meat. I actually don't even need, need you, but... Which, what franchise do you think deserves, do you want to see a beat em up for? <laughs> okay, so my first thought was Final Fantasy got a fighting game series, Final Fantasy Dissidia. Final Fantasy beat em up would be pretty funny, actually. Uh, what else? I mean, a Castlevania style. We're just naming series I've talked about today because they're fresh on my mind. I bet if I thought about it long enough, there'd be another one that would be like, yes, that. So I'll think about it. I'll think about it. All right. Ugh. It's filling my body with delicious, delicious coffees. Ooh. I did bust out that coffee MKG bought me from a... Oregon from Stumptown. That's actually where J.A. LaRock and I first met for coffee. Stumptown in Oregon. Now that I think about it. Now I'm going to try to make him get me a job. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ronmo and half beat him up would be great. I'd I'd like that. 
That's a that's a good one, Mondo. I need to figure out how to beat them specifically. The ladies. I didn't really mean to do that. When I get to that next boss, I'm gonna wish I hadn't have done that, but. Yep, there he is. Hi, boss. I didn't totally waste my magic right before getting to you. I need to get better at blocking. That would help me out a lot. All these new mechanics in this game. New fangled blocking mechanics. Um, he attacked me. I don't know. Yeah, we need a new final fight. Marion. The bouncer may as well be one. Oh, I don't believe I've heard of that. Interesting, Mondo. like this guy <laughs> at all. As an enemy only in that game as half the Capcom canon is playables. Nice. Interesting. There we go. I'm still alive. Don't worry. I'll destroy the enemies around here. I wasn't worried. <laughs> he took so much. So, yeah. Killing, um... My... Possessed, uh... Teammates. I'm gonna need to get better at that if I'm going to beat this game. Already destroyed? Yes, boneless those. He's, he's gonna go beat them again. Just to make sure that they know. You're not welcome here. Yeah, I believe I definitely made it farther with my, um, panther dude earlier. <laughs> yeah, that is some real tuxedo mask energy, isn't it? Like... I'm the only one who's ever defeated all these people this entire time, but thank you for uh, throwing out a rose and yelling at me. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. I feel as if I can now do it all because of you. I mean, <laughs> I like tuxedo mask just fine, but you know. <laughs> An awkward open mic night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
All right, I'm here at the open mic night, and I'm just planning on telling really weird jokes about Sailor Moon for the next hour. I hope you're all buckled in and ready for that bullshit. Hey, Ed. <laughs> God, why is nobody picking up my comedy routine? Weird, weird. Sign me up. <laughs> Sailor Venus, am I right, guys? Am I right? Ugh. That's Sailor's Bar and Grill. Sure. You must be this nerdy to enter my comedy routine. Thundercats. Ah, that'd be cool. Thundercats beat him up. Classic art style. Shredder's Revenge. Toxic Crusaders. Double Dragon. I do like Bucky O'Hare. A not great one. Fan made. Oh, man. Well. Maybe a good one versus a not great one. Jeez. Oh, All right. That's our PB. Those two guys. Uh, I don't know, actually, know if it's a PB because I chose a different route, but... We went through the Tender Hamlet, the Cave of Crystal, Bloody Street, and uh, Death Mountain. And you dead. And you dead. Ah! <laughs> no, you dead, game. You dead. Yeah, it's a PB in our hearts. I'll take it. Ah, yes. Wild Arms is great. Yeah, and you dead. <laughs> you dead it. You dead it. <laughs> okay, so we've tried him and her. Uh, let's play this guy. I don't know, New World. Now that you have been released from the evil curse, your mission is to defeat the Prince of Darkness and return with the Golden Axe. Go now, brave warrior. Um, okay. I mean, there is a Sailor Moon beat him up. So that I could do one day. Translation issues, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you do a lot of damage. I like you. And you fly across the ring? Well, shit. <laughs> This might be my guy. <laughs> oh man! So, uh, you 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 come here often? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's King. <laughs> Welcome to die, and all your base belongs to us. Yes. Air Force game player. I could do a Captain America beat him up. Why not? Why not? Kick. Kick punch. There we go. Can I grab? Yeah, you heard that right. It's all in the mind, man. It's all in the mind.
I like losing this early. That's fantastic. Come here. much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Crag raid. Welcome in. How are you? Oh, cool. I love your, uh, uh, the bicycle. I have actually have a follow alert that's, uh, based on that. There it is. Except it's Balrog and Ed from Street Fighter 6. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follows. I know pizza, Andy. Oh, yeah, nice. So what were you playing today? Make sure I give you a follow and check you out sometime. Hi, cute tiger Jim. Kuragari. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for all the follows. Super dope, super dope. Here on Mondays, we do Beat 'em Up Monday. And I've been playing through various trilogies. So I played through, um, uh, well, in the past, I've played through Streets of Rage. I did uh, Final Fight, Sengoku. Um, I did the uh, drag, not the drag, oh my god. The dra uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons ones, and right now we're playing Golden Axe. I love the X-Men 97, absolutely. And yes, I'm, I'm wearing a rogue shirt today. And I kind of put up a headband here just, just to kind of, you know, sort of pull it all together. Yeah, Melee Monday. There you go, KH fan. Melee Monday. The Buttons of Steel VHS. Got to do fitness. Well, hell yeah. Yeah, Streets of Rage is now a quad. You are correct. I love uh, 4. 4 is really good. And yeah, Golden Axe is fun. This is my first time playing Golden Axe 3. Uh, I beat Golden Axe 2 last stream, so uh, we're on our third go-through. i uh, playing through each... Oh, well, I haven't beaten this one yet, obviously. You know, I get as far as I get and then I die, but uh, I'm trying out this guy right now, and I'm really liking him so far. You love VHS? Hell yeah. 4 is great. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Everybody, make sure you drop Crag Son of Horus a follow. And thank you, uh, Andy. Hell yeah. Well, welcome in, everybody. I am Lobrilla. I play retro... Well, I play arcade classics like beat-em-ups. I do some retro challenges. I've been playing through the Castlevania series. That's what I do on Tuesday. And I also play fighting games. I have signed up for uh, my first fighting game tournament next month. So I've been playing a lot of Tekken 8 as well. So we sort of mix it up here between modern fighting games. I love retro fighting games. And of course, like I said, retro beat-em-ups and all that stuff. So thank you very much. Good to have you. You like Toidles? We should play Toidles. We should play Toidles. Oh, Shredder's Revenge is so good. It's such a great game. Love it. I've played it a few times here. Um, I fell in love with Usagi Yojimbo, so when I do play it, I'm all about him. <laughs> Give me my buddy boy, my buddy samurai. Plus, I grew up with uh, Usagi Yojimbo anyway, so. Yeah, it is such a, uh, an amazing love letter. I love it when they really stay true to what made the original games good and just update some of the mechanics here or there. Like, you don't have to change too much. Just, you know. In fact, you really shouldn't be changing too much. These games are good anyway. Um, but, you know, some com- com- oops. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna jump off there. Uh. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the controls. Your, your, your TMNT Dojin. Yeah. Donatello is your favorite turtle. Um, I like Donatello a lot as well. Yes. I also like, uh, I like Raph. I like Dawn. I would say those are my two favorites. Yeah, hasn't he though? I mean, you know, he lifts rocks and he puts them back down. Best taunt. Oh, nice. 
Oh, I love that, Crag. That's such a great emote. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hi, Adam. Oh, I, I agree. For sure. I mean, I just love these games. Um, I'll talk about... I was an arcade junkie in my youth. So, I, I'll spend all day in arcades. Hey, Gemini Fox. Yeah, take some time to play your Game Boy. Yeah, there's a really good Turtles game on Game Boy Advance. Gotta play more retro. I got my start here on Twitch playing solid retro. Um, but the only modern games I really play, as I said, are fighting games. These days. I used to play more... I mean, well, other than beat-em-ups as well. I'll play modern beat-em-ups. I used to play more indie games, but... It's been a bit. It's been a bit. I have played Knights of the Round, yes. I haven't done it lately, though. That one deserves another playthrough here soon, I think. Thank you. I appreciate that, no pizza. Favorite arcade game? Okay, the one I have the fondest memories playing a lot of was uh, Darkstalkers 3. We had a Darkstalkers 3 machine. We'll go that way, I guess. A good barcade. Yeah, I also finally found a nice one. Um, I'm hoping to move soon. Um, once I move, I'll have to <laughs> have to look again. Beat em up, shmups, fighting platformers, some uh, first person shooters like Doom. Phoenix Wright streams were fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I love Phoenix Wright, too. It's been a while, but yes. Aliens vs. Predator was good. Oh, yeah, the X Men beat em up. I love the X Men beat em up. 1985 Fireball 2 machine, yeah. Or like the Simpsons beat em up. I, I spent quite a bit of time and many a quarter on that game. House of the Dead. We were talking about House of the Dead and Time Crisis earlier. Yeah, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I played that on stream with uh, my friend, uh, another Andy. <laughs> new Power Rangers. Yeah, we need a new Power Rangers beat em up. I agree. Those are ones I could play in the future for these beat em up Mondays. Yeah, the Andy Social Network. Arcade Tetris. Adam's Family Terminator 2 Pinball. I played some pinball, yes. I wouldn't say I am the biggest pinball fan, but I'll, I'll play it. I need to get you guys on the same line as me. Yeah, drop kick to victory. <laughs> I'm trying. Like I said, this is my first playthrough with this guy, so. Okay, so Battle Toads I had growing up on a Nintendo. Um, and I did play it a lot as a kid. I didn't beat it, and I still haven't, and I probably will try to play it here sometime, but I know once I play, I know once I start playing Battletoads, that's going to be, like, <laughs> a rough one. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I love Ski Ball. Hell, I always would also spend some time on that. Before your time. Understand, but that's the thing about a lot of these retro games is you can still play them. It's just And there are still um, arcades that exist that have this stuff. You just kind of got to look 
It's not like it used to be where every mall had an Aladdin's castle. Hershey Park arcades were classic. I want to play that KH fan. I haven't played it yet. But I've heard really good things about the, the Scott Pilgrim beat him up. I do sometimes, cute tiger, Jim. I do. This here is like a challenge thing, but I have thought about loading up Fightcade and doing um, like beat em ups with people. Blazing flippers. Hell yeah. Uh, late game platforming. <laughs> so much level grinding. So much. See, I do like how in um, Golden Axe 2, you could pick how much magic you use. There's a way to do it. I haven't discovered it yet. There we go. You're free! The PS2 game, The Warriors? I don't believe I've played that one, no. I've seen the film, though. I think it was PS2. I don't remember exactly when it came out. It's a great movie. Yeah, you guys are pretty good at uh, ducking. Let's see if there's any other way I can get you. I don't play as many platform fighters, no. For whatever reason, they sort of just pass me by. Um, so when I go back and play them now. I'm trying to think of a way to say, like, I don't feel the same sort of draw to them as I do a lot of, like, modern fighters. Where are you? Thank you. <laughs> Dave the Diver, though. Don't gravitate towards them, basically. Yes. I, I, I've I tried them a few times. Every single time I try to get into it. The Warriors is so good. You want to see the Dave the Diver uh, DLC? Make sure I'm not missing too much here. Did get past level two of Scott Pilgrim. Nice, nice. Never heard of Aladdin's Castle. Yeah, it was an old arcade. Ooh, chat was really flying there for a minute. I try really hard to keep up. Didn't understand why they made a Warriors game when they did. That was a weird decision, wasn't it, Kura? I mean, I'm not upset, but it was like, huh, I mean, that must be somebody's passion project is what I think. You know, they just always thought that the Warriors would make a great video game and they talked some people into it, you know, like now's the time. Let's jump on this right now. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's not like they were going to do it when it first came out, like, you know. It worked. Hey, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters, Charlie. As long as it works. A GTA mod. <laughs> I can see that. A 
8-bit guy has been putting some stuff out recently. Arcade repair videos. That sounds fun. I have not even checked that out. I'd probably really be into that. <laughs> PS2 games uh, load so slowly it's hard to get into it. Yeah, I like to play, uh, I sometimes like to play updated ports of things, not just because of, uh, quality of life changes, but also, you know, sometimes they've managed to fix some of the loading issues and stuff, too. It makes it a little easier. 8-bit dough, make a PS1-2 Bluetooth adapter. Yeah, hopefully... Really awesome. Yeah, I've not played it. Okay, this guy, this this jump kick, as long as you time it right, it's really good. I mean, some of the ones that'll just duck under it isn't as good, but... Oh, it's like a Disgaea game? Eternal Poison is? I do like tactical RPGs. I wish that they would make uh, playing early games easier always, but that's that's the, my always my stance. These game libraries don't have to vanish into the abyss. We can keep... I mean, I also don't want to pay for it every new console either, but... You know, there are ways we could do this. That's all I'm saying. I guess we'll go up. You just don't have to load discs, but it had those chips. I really liked playing PS1 games on my PS3. Um, the few times I've streamed PS1 games, almost always I'll do it on the PS3 because of the load time issue. Uh, I already feel like as a streamer, I ha there's so much I have to, you know, keep entertain you know keep being entertaining through i would hate to have to like one minute load scenes all the time Woo! <laughs> be like all right guys just sit back buckle up brills is life story here we go no <laughs> first new architecture that was vastly different easier to develop for ps4 was great <laughs> That's true, Mountain Doobie. They are perfect for catching up on chat. That's one thing about me. My my brain loves to be doing multiple things at once all the time, so that makes it a little easier as far as like chat is concerned. But at the same time, you know, I, I still miss things and whatever. Yeah, we're all still waiting for that Dreamcast 2. When Sega just rushes back into the console market out of nowhere. Didn't get it with that game. Seven months, 23 days. Hey, Steven, how are you doing? $300 or more for that. Would be nice. Um, I really like the mister. That's like hardware emulation versus software emulation. Um, I don't.
don't know. Did he delete himself out? Well, there you go. Fair enough. If you guys want to time yourselves out, that's on you. Far be it for me to stop you from doing what you want to do. <laughs> you approve, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let them ban themselves, I say. <gasps> Steven's back! Everybody act natural. Slightly slower than original. It has an HDMI and upscaling. So, hey, all that matters is that you're happy with it. All right, guys, we are ad break. So, I'm just going to go ahead and type in chat. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Hmm. You, voice actor, we need indigestion noises. Oh, okay, okay, I got this. <laughs> like, <laughs> the worst overacting possible. There's something fun about villains and their desire to immortalize themselves in statues. Uh... Everybody will want to peer upon my beautiful visage. Let me have a statue created in my honor, says every villain ever. My gosh. I wasn't even breathing. I was like, okay, Brills, you can hit him again. You can dip, dodge, dive, and wrench, whatever. You can do it. You can chip him out. Woo! Ahem. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear J.A. LaRock. Happy birthday to you. There you go. Whip it, whip it's good. Do 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 do. Another destroyer. Oh hey, you already did it. Never mind. Thank you so much, Toma. I thought I'd have to earn it. Well, thank you. I'm gonna have to hold Tennessee back. Yeti, he's gonna attack you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help. All right, I'm back. I'm back. It's basically a power lurk. <laughs> Incredibly popular. I mean, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, Hey, Brian Icon! Welcome in! You just missed the ad break, so GG's on you. <laughs> How you doing, Brian? Mad World? What's Mad World? I am not familiar. Everybody, guys, Brian Icon! Longtime friend of the channel. Uh, make sure you drop him a fall. He is a variety streamer. We are both in the console council. 
We play fighting games together sometimes. And we really need to play Undernight, too. I think next uh, uh, time I do a uh, donation drive for my move, I'm trying to move across the country, um, I should do uh, some Undernight. Loving my throne? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, welcome in, Brian. Welcome in, everybody. I am Labrilla. I play retro classics, arcade classics like beat em ups, Castlevania, um, all sorts of NES, SNES, Genesis, all that kind of stuff, as well as fighting games. I have entered my first fighting game tournament for Tekken 8, so I do a lot of that as well. I guess that makes me retro variety, but my variety is modern fighting games. <laughs> 3D beat em up game made by Platinum Games on the Wii. <laughs> After four, yeah, I imagine. I imagine. Now, beat em ups can get uh, pretty. They can, they can be pretty intensive after a time. But thank you so much, Brian. It's always good to see you. Also, doing the same fundraiser. Yes, and Brian and Mondo are both raising money uh, for uh, a charity to help prevent child abuse. Mondo can give more specifics than I can, but... Ah! What was that? Wow, this guy's got some cool stuff. This game in general's got a lot of really... Really neat things going on that I, I haven't even, like, scratched the surface of. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Mondo. You do- you- you-, you absolutely. Jump in. I give you full permission. Right, Dan? Wouldn't that have been fun? Yeah, somebody asked earlier about what franchises could have used a beat em up that didn't get one. And I did throw Castlevania on that list. Uh... Oh, jeez. Don't jump, Mr. Skellington. I like genre mixing. Let's go. They made a Castlevania fighting game, which I never played. Why not? Next incarnation, beat him up. Hey, MKG. How you doing? Yeah, Castlevania Judgment. Oh, jeez. All right, you need to be playing better. <laughs> Good, good. I've been enjoying that coffee you sent me. Oof. Hey, Ryder. Nothing like some golden axe. I know. We're up to the third game already. Feels like we just started this series. Ruth Ellis, nonprofit, at risk uh, youth with a focus on LGBTQ plus youth whose lives have been disrupted. Yes, absolutely. Great cause. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors is more a uh, hack and slash. Um, to me, yeah, just because of the number of enemies, you know? Is what I would say. Oh, thank you for the follow. Super appreciate 
follows our anonymous. Um, you may speak up if you wish or not. It's up to you. All good here. Carry on. All right, cool channel three. We'll do. Oh, geez. It's this enemy right here. This specific enemy. So defensive. Much wow, right? Ultimate Double Dragon fan made remake. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I like it when the fan made remakes um, fix a lot of the issues with the original game. Assuming there are any, depends on the game, but. And the arcade one, yeah, interesting. The thing about playing the Sega Genesis version for stream is I can game over. I can't just quarter to win, which is fine. I would honestly like it better if I could quarter to win. All these games would take one stream, but where's the challenge? So I play the Genesis version so I can get that game over and, and have the challenge of having to actually like really figure out the game, figure out the enemies and work towards that victory. But oh, have I thought about it? Have I thought about just playing the arcade versions and not playing the consoles? I think once I get better with this guy's strategies, he's going to be my dude. I have to decide if I want to try the fourth character because he's the third one I've played. You can see, you can see why people want to forget it. I'm enjoying it so far. As an unlock. He does kind of have max vibes, yeah. I agree. And I played, uh, I beat Streets of Rage 2 with Max. He was my guy. Revenge of Death Adder. Yeah, Adam Cole. The Lob Smackdown. I, think I actually have all my life. Exactly, exactly no pizza. His moves felt great. From the Sega ages? I haven't even seen it, Ryder. I'll take your word for it. Death Mountain. This guy is a little slow. That's the one thing I would say about him. times. It 
and very quickly disappointed. Oh no, that's the worst, isn't it? That game concept sounds so cool. I can't wait. And then you play it and you're like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. You've all my hopes and dreams gone, dashed on the rocks of despair. <laughs> Yeah, you like it though. It was on the classics collection. Gotcha. I have to make sure I play that. <laughs> We're both just like jumping at each other and missing each other because in gold, pure gold next fashion. They're trying to dodge me. I'm trying to dodge them. So we're not along the same line. And I just need to watch shadows. Watch shadows. That'll help help know whether you're on the line to hit them or not. Sega with none of those reimagined till we get uh, release dates. They're just a video. True. Delicate dance called a golden axe. Controls aren't quite there. Mm. Yeah, that's also rough. Especially when they have a great concept and that's really all they've messed up on is like the controls, you know? Cool, cool. When the controls are good, it's only yourself to blame. As it should be. Yes. Yes, exactly. But then when the controls are bad, <laughs> you can still be bad. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, there's a lot more you got to think about. Either that's a hidden gem no one is buying or it's barely above shovelware. Didn't buy it. Turns out you missed out on a hidden gem. Oh, no. <laughs> that's why you're playing through it. Um, I'm playing this on uh, the uh, a Sega Mega Drive Classics, basically. Um, it is on Steam, but they have a lot of the games on there. Just for ease sake. Yeah. When they make... Uh, especially when they just port them over like this and they make them easy to play, I, I like to try to support them where possible. If they make a lot of changes that are bad, obviously, or they or they do a bad job porting, then obviously I don't want to support them anymore. But this is actually a pretty good collection. It's 
got a lot of great games. Cool as hell. Something so striking about the black and the white. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if uh if it's on there. But it's definitely on the Steam Sega collection, so will go up. Uh, I changed my mind. We're going to... I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Listen, ladies, we can, we can talk about this. We can talk this through. We don't have to... We don't have to be here right now. No? Okay. Galaxy Force 2, eh? Hey, Green Castle Block. Hey, Fatal Pierce. I like my drop kick. Thank you. Why do you guys spurt fire out of your mouth? Why are you guys fire breathers? Just wondering. Yeah, he, he has Max from Streets of Rage vibes. I've been really enjoying playing as him. Out of there. Use some magic. They are the warrior rappers from their village. They spit hot take fire. There you go, D upgrade. Beautiful. They have acid reflux. Okay. Okay. Shooter like Space Harrier, except you're in a ship. I like the enemy designs. I believe it. I don't get it very often, but I have I have certainly felt I felt the reflux before. It's not fun. You can get a dongle for that. Oh my. We passing out dongles in chat now? A A A A.
A thick, girthy dongle? Oh my gosh. Best kind. I mean, what? What are we even talking about anymore? Nobody knows. I have a Sega Mini as well. Like I said, I have a lot of fondness for the Sega Genesis, so... <laughs> Keanu Reeves? That's a... That's a choice I wouldn't have expected, KH fan. Wow. Yeah, Flying Man takes no BS. None. Chat always goes off the rails eventually. That's how it be. Nice job. However, it won't be so easy next time. Bye, Mr. Bird Guy. I miss you already. Kisses. Kisses. Hayden Christensen. <laughs> Harvey Birdman head ass. What? What? Ride the whirlwind. Yeah. I did recognize the name. I did recognize the name. Let's see here. Would have been an interesting choice. Yeah, the enemies are starting to get really defensive. Okay, gotcha. All good. That's a large wing. Some people may have also uh, forgotten that one on purpose, too. You never know. Who? I've stripped that from my mind. A dash cam footage of accidents that could have been avoided. <laughs> that's what watching. That's what it's like watching me play a beat em up. First day, anyway. It gets better. Eventually, I, I figure out the the mechanics of how not to get hit all the time. You don't like Fight and Rage? I do own that one, but I haven't played it. Is it bad? What do you guys think of Fight and Rage? Should I play it sometime? It's on my Steam. Second favorite modern. Oh, Brian, that's some pretty good, uh, that's some pretty good. Oh, oh, d d every time I walk up to you, every time. Yeah, some pretty good words. A D pad destroyer. I know some of these words. Usually this late in the stream, I can word better. Nah, nah, not today. We never need to develop that ability today. It's fine. Words hard. Yep, yep. These guys seem to do better from the ground. Fair enough. Let me see if I can keep that, that train going. 
get out of the fence. They are insisting on pinturing me, though. Sewer level sounds like we need a turtle. Yeah, we need a turtle stat. It's the only way. You can use remote play and play it together. That'd be dope, Brian. Tonight, we dined on turtle soup. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Only to see in library. That's so funny, Zant. Huh! I I could play this. This this would be good and oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Is that it? Ah, all right, guys, that's our new PB right there, right there. That is the furthest we've made it. We went north route, too. I like this guy a lot. He is my number one right now, but I will go ahead and play as the other dude just to cover my bases. Who knows? Maybe he'll be amazing. But uh, so far, th this guy right here. You are dead. I know, game. I know. You don't have to tell me. I, too, am excited about... Okay, I'm not excited. This guy, he's the last one, because I've played as everybody else. So, let's see. Personal bird. Yes, that's my personal bird right there. That's my peanut butter. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate. It's good to have you. It doesn't have online co-op, so you gotta do it like that. That's so sad. Just put on like online co-op in your games. Let me tell you guys how to make your games, okay? <laughs> hey yo. There's something kind of funny about the dude just holding his sword out, bumping into him like. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Oh, jeez. are better with friends. I agree. You're on lunch now and was inspired by this dream to play beat em ups on break. Konami's Vendetta, Crime Fighters 2 is. I haven't played that one. I'll have to check that out, Lady Tron. I'm glad. It always makes me very happy when I inspire people to play certain kinds of games or specific games. I'm actually going to write that on my list. Um, I'm always trying to expand my uh, beat em up selection. So thank you for that as well. I actually have a whiteboard over there. I've joked that I should start writing down like every time I, I get somebody to play a game. This guy's 
actually really good too. And the first game, the dude was the first two games, honestly, the dude was like compared to Gilius, who's the best. Give me give me my uh gray bearded man, right? Um, but this this guy's actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. Gilius the OG, yes. They did, and it's actually really fun. I don't hate it so far. They changed all the characters, but... There, there's no Gilius. But there is, like, a beast man and, uh... A large, uh... Another other- an other large man. You want to play Vendetta because it's on PS4? And playing with friends at the same time. Yeah, yeah, SOR4 is rough like that. Why no large lady? I don't know. There needs to be a uh, Marisa. I don't know, the lady in this game's actually pretty buff. Why no Marisa in every game? Growl, pretty fun. Thank you, absolutely. There we go. More? Give me more? Okay, so it's between this guy and the other guy. Poor panther man and lady. My bottom two. Though the panther- I don't know, they're all good, actually. I, I don't hate this game. I like it just fine so far. Um, I'll have to read up on it to see why it gets hate. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Bangers out on modern controls. Welcome back, KH fan. Every bone in our body and then nurse us back to health. And I don't think it's an unreasonable request. <laughs> All I'm saying is I want a dominatrix in every game. If we could just make this a reality, that would be dope. <laughs> Xanth on board. Oh, Ninja Baseball Batman. That one comes up occasionally. Yes, Mondo. Whew. They agree, too. And you all know how I feel about these things. fatal absolutely i haven't even checked to see how far away the rough area i'm moving to is from portland but i have a car i can go places uh sir you meant to say i want a dominatrix every you're right helios i i definitely misworded that 
How you doing? Man, you got you got attention from Mel and Germ. We're all jealous. Two-ish hours, you think? Gotcha, gotcha. That's not too bad. So I'm like exactly in between. Because I'll be two-ish hours from uh, the north as well. Two, two hours and 30? Gotcha. Hell yeah. Oh, shoot. What are you doing? Don't let that... Don't let the dinosaur tongue you. Or or do. I mean, I'm, don't let me tell you what to do. Uh, appeals probably only to me. I played Vendetta just now because it was a lot of screaming, grunting sound effects from Golden Axe 3. And these same screams are also heard in the various Metal Slug games. Very niche thing to be excited about. Metal Slug's great, too. Uh, even though they're more run and gun, kind of, I've considered playing some Metal Slug on here. You a, you a ho! I mean, wait, you were talking to Fatal. Never mind. We're all hoes. Ah! Yep, yep. Ken spends lots of time with his lady. I miss D and D with Germ. He always knew exactly when to cast compelled. <laughs> you mean right after we spent X amount of time? Uh, working on the NPC and making sure everything's good, and then you compel duel. Yeah, yeah, Germ was really good at that. <laughs> kinky, kinky. <laughs> Add to your PS4. And yet he still chose to do it in the wrong time. <laughs> no, instead you're... What is it? 35 years old. Divorced, live in a van down by a river. Yes. There are no death metal slug games. No, no, no screaming. I'm stuck. <laughs> Wednesday is a metal slug marathon. Oh, hell yeah, Brian. There's another good reason to follow Brian. He's planning a metal slug marathon. Jeez. You lost your mind. The answer to have you lost your mind is always yes, so. Did I ever have it in the first place? Yeah, me too, KH fan. Me too. I love that early SNL. Early for me, I don't... <laughs> I lo lo love the SNL from a long time ago. <laughs> Quarter feeding those games, though, or I might just put them on free play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have not, Ryder Game. Gamer, I have not. David Spade and Christina Applegate. Yes, yes it is. My favorite part of that entire thing, because, you know, Christina Applegate had, like, that, um, really dry delivery. Or, uh, you know. Anyway, the guy asked her, so what is it that you want to do when you grow up? And she's like, I want to live in a van down by the river. Christina Applegate was bomb, bomb. Hey, Yeti Force. I was like, yes, that is the appropriate response. Yeah! 
Yes! <laughs> Very tough, underrated beat em up. Aw, oh, hell yeah. If you give me a minute, I'll write it on my list, too. Whew. I, I kind of want to do something with this guy. Dad, I'm going to need you to shut your yapper. Um. There we go. Arabian magic or dungeon magic. All right. One second. May at least try to get some, uh, I'm gonna have to fix up my Eddie Gordo notes anyway. I'll just write it on the same spot. Whew, I don't know why my back's starting to hurt. Oh, I'm getting close to a break, that's why. Make me want a cyborg justice on the Genesis again. Cyborg Justice. I'm trying to think if I played that. Um, when I was a kid, we did a lot of renting of games, so there'll be a lot of times where I did play something, but it was for three days, and then it went back. <laughs> I'd have to see it to know. That was also a rental for Blockbuster. Cool concept, executed poorly. Oof. Gauntlet Slayer Edition. I've played Gauntlet. I don't know that I've played that exact one, though. Uh, now you have no idea what is that uh, when we were kids. Sometimes we just straight up played games we didn't like because there wasn't options. It's like, well, I either play this or I play nothing. So let's uh, boot this thing up and see what we can do. <laughs> Looks like a Tecmo Bowl day. lady. This is my dinosaur. I rode in on it. You don't get the steal. No steal. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I've also heard good things about that. <laughs> Renting Bubsy yeah, and just dealing with it. Yeah, I had a few instances like that too. You had to make the best of what you had. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, this is what we're doing for the next three days. Gonna enjoy it no matter what. What's the alternative? Admit you made 
a bad choice. Oh yeah, for sure. You don't even want to look at my Steve library. I'm sure there's uh, as many duds as there are anything else because, well, the game costs a, d a dollar. I, I was like, why not? It looks cool. And then you play it and you're like, what have I done? Can't believe I gave this company a dollar. I'm out here supporting like... <laughs> what am I supporting? What am I supporting? No. Yeah, a lot of a uh, humble bundle drivel. That too. That too. <laughs> Go outside and play with friends? Uh, no, of course not. We play the bad game. See, D-pad knows what it's all about. Can't find memory card. Big sister took to her friends. Oh, oh no, Yeti. Oh no. <laughs> you make some up. You make some up. I just walked into strangers' houses, you know. Did you really? No. Would you lie on the internet only if it's a funny joke? Only if it's a funny joke. <laughs> D upgrade. Yeah, those are when it's the best friends. Oh, yes, you should definitely play. I can't even think of a bad game off the top of my head right now. Uh, Yeah, play. Oh, God. Insert notoriously bad game here. Play Booger Man. It's awesome. Yeah, you'll have the best time. Best time. No need to thank me when you have the greatest weekend of your life. It's a pick and flick adventure. <laughs> It's fun. It's art. It's what? Shocking, but I never beat it. Battle Axe. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Have you played Superman 64? It's the best. Could we, could we get more Final Fight? I played Final Fight 2 and 3 here on stream, and I did it, yeah, on the, uh, the console versions. <laughs> Those rings, they still haunt me. Sometimes deep in the night, I wake up with cold sweat dripping from my brow. Superman 64 rings. Ah. Yeah. The struggle is real, guys. The struggle is real. It's fun. We all have the, the gasps in Spanish. We all have those games that just follow us around forever. People regularly remind me Alundra exists. It's been like four years, guys. <laughs> Actually, it's only one person who reminds me that games exist. Hey, Warp Zone boss. I appreciate your lurk. It's always good to see you. You think my uh, Tekkening is getting better? I know you're really good at Tekken, so... <laughs> As a war medal, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they, they earned their stripes that that session.
Oh, jeez, Yeti, that, that that's tears. Where's my comfort Final Fantasy IV? On every console it's ever been released, because Squaresoft knows what to do to get me to buy something. They're like, you know what? Brills hasn't bought any sort of Square product. Let's re-release Final Fantasy IV again. I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God, just take all my money. I don't need it anyway. Warriors of Fate. Hell yeah, Xanth! Woo! Excited. Excited for you, because... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff Tekken has done lately that's pissed people off, but I don't know. It's still a really fun game, and I like it. <laughs> I know there are downsides, but... Ugh. Listen. I've at least already signed up for that tournament. I'm committed to at least doing that. After that, we're probably going to see more Grand Blue around here again, because... I've been playing a lot of Grand Blue with Lolo. <laughs> it was after yours any good. I need to play after. It's on the list. I'm playing through Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster right now. I will play through after years. I have a hard time sometimes playing a sequel to a favorite game because I know in the back of my mind it may not live up to it. So there's almost like a fear there. Like, a lot of people get excited. There's a sequel to my favorite game. I need to go play it immediately. And I'm like, I love the first game. They're like, what'd you think of the second? And I'm just like... <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hide behind my hand. Like, oh, I'll play it one day. Same boat with After Years. So excited. <laughs> and then you got... Exactly, Zamp. See, you get it. You get it. Indeed, D. Indeed. It does have off offline off things. Whew, okay. I'm caught up with chat again. Heading out. Okay, boneless one. Thank you for being here. Have a safe drive home. The kid who saved up their own money for Zelda too. There are things I like about world tour mode and things I don't. Some of the side quests are pretty dope, but you know, some of them do feel kind of like a chore. Having to constantly switch between nighttime and daytime and stuff like that kind of like adds to, I, I feel like it adds time, but I don't know. I, I did enjoy it as a mode though, overall. I'm, I'm excited that they are doing more content like that so that people don't just have to play rank to feel like they're getting, you know, their money's worth on their game. Of course, as, as a longtime arcade runner who will play through arcade modes over and over again, I usually do regardless, but still, it's nice to have multiple kinds of uh, options. Super Adventure Island 2. It's like Zelda 2, but a tad easier. There you go. <laughs> Feels like a choir. <laughs> Feels like a chore. Got run. All right, no pizza, Andy. It was lovely meeting you. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy your sleep. Catch you again. Was well, good seeing you. A uh, vibe is totally different in SAI too, in my opinion, despite the similar style. True, true. It's a different sort of game. Need to do tax stuff. And yep, yeah, good, good. I actually already did my tax stuff earlier this year. That's the one thing I jumped on it because I was worried I would owe this year. Um, but I got lucky. This is probably the last year I won't owe on my taxes, though. I don't know. It depends on what kind of job I get uh, after I move. If I just do social media, I will owe because that's how it works. They give you 100% of your money and then you owe taxes and then you pay taxes on it at the end of the year instead of it getting taken out as you go. Yeah, taxes. You know, when I have a job, in order to 
because I know Twitch isn't sending anything for me, I would always send the maximum amount so that um, it would help cover Twitch. And usually I didn't know anything at the end of the year. Overpay all my taxes at my job. Ah, cover for Twitch later. It made sense to me. That's what you do too. I've heard all the arguments against doing that. I, I know that there's, um, you know, it's better to put it in a high, high interest savings account, blah, 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 which is what I also do, but you know, still. Never, never Xanth. I get one every year, but I also make the bulk of my money, at least right this moment from Twitch. All right. I'm going to be right back. I need to stretch my back. It's, it's, It's a uh, smartin right now for some reason. <laughs> oh jeez, man. <laughs> You're so funny, Yeti. There it is. <laughs> I speak in freedom units, Sonny Jim. <laughs> this one is so damn hard to get. Oh, right there, right? There we go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. It was great to see you. <laughs> You okay, Tyson? You okay? He's okay. Um, it's great to see you. <laughs> Sorry, Vilta. <laughs> Thanks, Tyson, for ruining my outro. <laughs> Alright, it was great to see you. This game has potential, but I feel like it'd probably run into the same problem Melungeo does which is the isometric jumping puzzles will eventually drive me insane. Gonna see some man if you pay attention to his pole. <laughs> that was the man's I say. Kill me. <laughs> mm. I am back. Huh? I don't know why my back is hurting so much today. Other than it just does that sometimes. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get it so that it's not doing it so much or... I'd hate to end early. That, that's what I'm getting at. But hopefully I won't have to. Yeah, the throne's a little stiff. That, that's what it is. Yeah. Ever since my last job, it's just never been the same. You actually want that dude. There you go. You have full health. It's it's the other.
Oh, jeez. I guess I had hit the other one more than I thought. I thought he was... They were both dead. <laughs> Already stopped paying attention. It's what you get, Brills. It's what you get. Tyson just stood up, so he may need to exit. Hi, Joppy Art. Have you played Mega Play? Same like the Genesis version? Um, I don't believe I have. Alright, so we're up to stage five. I'm gonna open the door for him. I think he needs some water. Yeah, Tyson has to roam. He's like, there's a shut door, and I don't like it, so I'm going to make unhappy noises at it. He didn't fully start barking this time, though, like he does sometimes. It's like, if I bark at the closed door, it will open, right? Like, well, kind of, that's how it works. Yeah, he was charging up the Bork attack. It takes a little bit of... A little bit to get there. Caesar Tyson. He needs to roam. Yes. Et tu, Bork A. Oh, really? Oh, no! That was close. Oh, jeez. Pay attention, Brills. We know it's late stream, but you don't have to throw it all away on an accident. I have two Greyhounds. Girl dog's just infinitely quieter, so you don't hear me talk about her as much, but... Um, They're both former racers. Back when uh, Greyhound Racing was legal in Florida. It's not anymore, so... Tyson is um, going to be 13 this year, and Nick's uh, turn 9 this year, so... Yeah, she quietly plots. So yeah, they're both on the older end for their breed, but... Well, Nyx took advantage of Tyson getting up to go drink and just jumped in bed, so. It's what you get, buddy. We don't save spaces around here. Trust me, they don't save the space for me. A boxer named Tyson. That'd be cute, though. I actually didn't name Tyson myself. He came with that name. Um... Yeah, move your feet, lose your seat. That's how it works, buddy. But Tyson's probably going to walk up and huff at her anyway, because he does that. He's like, that was there. That was for me. Woof. And fish. Hmm. Is 
we're very quiet, we can get this guy without the other dude waking up. Nope. I guess you can't? Oh, you can destroy them. I just didn't uh, slash fast enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Lurk ended. All right, doppelganger. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's good to see you, and I hope you have a great night. Take care. Oh, dang. Once again, Lobsy finds all the cool stuff way late. into the pup and home. That'll be me soon. I'll be taking them for their afternoon walkies. That's basically what I do when I end stream. I end stream and I immediately walk the dogs. If I'd have known all I was going to get was uh, you guys, I'd have used some magic sooner, but it's okay. I didn't know. Life would have been better. Just saying, game. Oh, so you still fight him no matter what. It's just where are you fighting him is what changes. I was curious to see if there'd be a different boss, but nope. No different boss for you. Fair enough. Sticks. Is that his name? This is our our dearest. General drumsticks. Oh, 
spread by KFC to expand their menu. Nice job. However, it won't be so easy next time. <laughs> ha. Hi, guys. You guys watching me sleep? You see them? God. Yeah, I'll be covered in 12 herbs and spices. You look delicious now. 54 freaking months. G-Dub plays. Thank you so much. For the cont I, I appreciate you so much, G-Dub. Thank you. I hope you're well. We're Golden Axe 3 it up right now, and it's going pretty, pretty fine. This has been a really good stream. I overslept this morning, so I started later than I usually like to, but it's all good. I almost ranked up in Tekken. It was close. It was close. Yeah, I'm doing just fine. Um, I actually got some uh, information from a friend about possible job options in Seattle. Um, hopefully soon I'll have a place to stay there. Yeah, I, I overslept today. Things are moving along. If you. Oh, I plan to hit up every contact I have. Help me survive. Send me information. I don't want to die in the streets. God, I want to be a professional badass. That's what I get for trying to... You must need to bum rush through their uh, defenses. <laughs> yes, if I'm going to die somewhere, I'd rather be in the sheets and not the streets, okay? If we could uh, make that a reality. In the sheets, yeah, baby, yeah. How about we just not die? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, give me your meat. Oh, sh 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 don't light me on fire, lady. All right, you both need a timeout, Missy. Yo, Shadow Fox. Reminds me of an act that was in the MN Ren Fair years ago. At the end of their act, they'd pass the hat around saying, Help us stay off the streets and in the bars where we belong. Yes, yes. I belong in the bars. I haven't been in a bar in a long time, but they haven't kicked me out yet. Yet. Yeah, we, uh, we keep, uh, everything open in life. You never know when, <laughs> when things could change. was tickling my face. I'm like, 
It's all I can pay attention to. I didn't mean to waste my magic there. Dang it. Dag nabbit. Can't get kicked out, kicked out of a bar if you never go in the front. True. True. Don Juan and Miguel would do. Wonder if they still do fairs. <sighs> I don't know. I haven't gone to a Ren Fair in a long time. My former city I, I used to live in, Gainesville, had a big one that was very popular. But, you know, when I was, you know, at one point it was easy to park. You didn't have to do as much. It wasn't as crowded. But after a while, it became so crowded. I, like, stopped wanting to go. I was like, I can't handle people anymore. You've all found, discovered this Ren Fair. Now I can't go. Not really, but it was, it was just harder at that point. It was the Tortuga twins. I'd love to go to a Ren Fair, but they always happen when it's hot and you hate that. <laughs> yeah, there, there's just people and you hate that. I understand. That's what I was just saying. All these people. What? Why? That's what I thought. I was like, this is going to be like Castlevania, isn't it? Those chandeliers are going to topple down. Back in the day, yep, yep. Back in the day. Mead, lots of mead. That'll do it. That's what I'd have to do. Be like, they tend to sell alcohol in like giant containers, so. <laughs> Ujin. Aw, uh, you guys don't walk off the way you used to. That's sad. How dare you fix my favorite part about this series? hours person when it comes to uh, beers but I remember mead being all right don't like bitter exceptionally bitter no some bitter is fine for me I should not have opened both of those that was a mistake maybe the meat will just stick around hopefully guys are something else. Okay. Okay. We're all right. Just going to head over here and get grabbed so I can't grab the meat. Perfect. 
Perfect. Fine, I'll waste my magic. Ruminade. Hold me, Grog. Yeah, I have, um... Rum is what I keep around these days. I used to drink... I mean, I don't drink all the time, but... I used to drink more varied alcohol, but... Rum is almost always tasty. It usually isn't very expensive. I can get my, my taste for fine alcohol back once I've uh, gotten my life together a bit better than it is right now. These guys are the worst. Oh shit. Ow. That hurt. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know I had a cord there and it caught my foot. Okay, there we go. We're all right. I trying not to complain too much, but you guys need to die. Like, you have all the armor. All you do is block. There we go. Thank you. Oh, geez. Final fight three. The guy a couple days ago could finally pull off guy's fireball. Nice, Shadow Fox. Hell yeah. Home Alone video game. A little bit. A little bit. I'm working on it, Earth. to hear it, am I right? Well, I didn't plan to poll chat to ask. I know, right, Big Owl? Sure as heck seems like it. I know. <laughs> well, I was kidding back. you Man, this guy has so much health. Come on. I've hit you so many times. There we go. Ooh. 
You big cow, man. Fortunately, I regained consciousness. With your strength, we should be able to defeat the enemy. Oh, perfect. I'm trying to... Can I even do a Zangief accent right now? Sometimes I have to hear it before I can... Zangief, very hungry. Too much saturated fat. Train the fat off cow bones. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it right now for some reason. Ugh. My brain just can't. can't. <laughs> oh, I hate that. So you finally got here. However, you won't be able to go on. A date? But, but, but... Listen, man, um... You're really cute, and I was just thinking... We could go out to a tavern after this, and... You know, kick, kick back, and... Oh, Tyson's barking for some reason. Hey, Tyson, buddy. Tyson. Lay down. Yeah, he must have discovered the existence of another door. One second. Fourteen cobs of corn. Yeah. That might help. We'll see. I think I'm on my last continue last life here. I don't know for sure, but... Yep, door exists. Tyson, no! No door. No closed door. I should have access to literally the entire world. Limonum. Hmm. What have I been doing? The princess. I have a favor to ask of you. The princess is somewhere in the castle. Please help her. Did he just die? Did random lightning just kill the king? Yeah, <laughs> pass, pass. You know, I've heard this same story before. Princess is in a castle, yada, yada, yada. I want to be the princess. Shows up in a dress. Perfect. Yeah, no gods, no kings, no princesses and princes. Only acts only acts. No. Game over. Okay, well, we made it to... What was that? Basically the end of the game? Hopefully? Cool. I know. I guess we're playing this next week. I would uh, keep going, but...
But with my dog acting that way, I think I actually probably should go and um see what he needs. I started a little late, so a little bit of a shorter stream's not bad. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We will pick this up again next Monday for Beat 'em Up Monday. And uh yeah, looking forward to more Golden Axe. I'm thinking that dude might actually be my main. Him or the other guy. They were truly the best too this time around, you know? It, yeah, it will be. It will be retro perspective. F, I agree. Absolutely, G Dub. Great to see you. Bye, Big Al. See you, Xanth. Take care, retro perspective. Bye, Lake of Bays. Quality? Oh, good. That's what I aim for. High quality. All right, I'm going to play my theme music. And I'm going to go see who's live on Twitch. We're going to end this by spreading the love out somewhere into the great multiverse. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Earth. It's so good. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Fatal Pierce. Thanks, Bujin. I'll I'll go enjoy the rest of my night. That sounds fun. I'll do my best anyway. All right. Okay, I usually try to go retro to retro sometimes. Thank you, Channel 3 GG. Appreciate you being here. All right. I haven't raided Andy in a bit, so we'll go ahead and raid the Andy social network. It looks like he's going to be playing uh, Mega Man 4, 5, and 6 here soon. We'll do hashtag Labrilla Raid. And for today, um, I don't really have any... Golden Axe emotes, but I will choose Chun Li, Sung Mina, and uh, King. That should be fine. That should be fine. Oop. All right. Thank you guys very much for being here. It was great to see you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. All right, we will raid in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go.